you doing everybody stacking stormtrooper hope you're doing well if you haven't already heard i have covid now i wanted to make this video because i wanted to share with everybody what it is that i am experiencing the one thing about coronavirus is that it is very very uh scary in that nobody really knows what to expect now we do have some people that say it's a plandemic or a scamdemic, and you guys know how I feel about those individuals. But uh, it is for real, and I'm going to share with you the timeline, what my symptoms are like, and, and how I'm doing right now. Now, the thing about my case of corona is that the timeline is very bizarre. So on January 20th, both of my children had two or more symptoms which were in line with corona symptoms. And here in New Jersey, if you have two or more symptoms, you need to quarantine. You have to treat it as if it is a presumed positive case. And everybody in the household is also supposed to quarantine. So we get our boys tested. And on January 21st and January 22nd, I take off work so that way I could be home with them while we wait for their test results. Then later that evening, I started getting a really bad sore throat. So I started going through a bag of Ricola cough drops. And then the following morning when I woke up, I went to the uh, walk-in clinic and I told them I wasn't feeling well and they tested me for Corona. Now, those of you that are familiar with my channel, you know that I am an allergy sufferer and that I have asthma. So I actually thought that this was going to be bronchitis or a sinus infection, which is something that I get at least like once a year. So then I go home and then on the 24th I wake up and I'm not feeling any better. In fact, it's now moved into my chest. So I go back to the clinic and they tell me, yep, okay, you have bronchitis. They wrote me a prescription, sent me home. They said I had to isolate for at least a couple of days until we got the test results back. So then on the 25th and 26th, I'm basically isolated in my bedroom and then I get the test results that they come back negative and that in fact it was only bronchitis and then I could go back to work. So life resumes as normal. Uh, my children's results come back negative. My wife's results come back negative. But we find out on Sunday the 31st that my kindergartner's teacher has coronavirus. So we book my boys and my wife appointments to get tested on Tuesday, uh, February 2nd. And then I was able to get a test on Wednesday, February 3rd. Then on Thursday, February 4th, my children's results come back negative, and then my wife gets a call that her results come back negative, and then I got a call later on that day to call the clinic back. I called them, and they said, you have tested positive for coronavirus. Now, I'd be lying to you if I said that panic didn't start to set in. It did. In fact, I was basically sitting there kind of uh, dumbfounded, had no idea how this was even possible, how my family could have tested negative, I tested negative, and then out of nowhere, I tested positive. So now I'm going to have to isolate in my bedroom from February 4th all the way through until Valentine's Day, February 14th. And then at that point, I'm allowed out of my bedroom. However, I will still have to quarantine up until February 18th, as will my family. And then on Friday, February 19th, we will be allowed out of the house back into the general population. But we will still have to get tested again. But to be honest with you, I consider myself very lucky. My symptoms have been relatively minor, aside from that initial sore throat and some congestion in my chest and my nose, um, but I'm used to having congestion all the time. I mean, listen to my voice. I sound like a nasally Charlie Day. I'm always congested, so um, I've actually been very, very lucky. Plus, being that I'm an asthma sufferer, I'm kind of used to having uh, to use my rescue inhaler from time to time, so I really haven't felt anything very different than what I typically feel. The only thing that's going to be very difficult is probably having to isolate in my bedroom for another week and a half. But luckily we are in the age of everything on demand, right? We could get things delivered to our home. We could stream everything that we want to watch when we want to watch it. Um, I have some stuff to keep me occupied. I'm able to do some of the YouTube stuff on my computer, albeit I don't have everything that I typically have, which is in my office on the other side of the house, but I have enough to keep me busy. I have some bullion that I'm going to unbox. I've got my iPhone, which is what I typically use to film all all of my videos regardless so I have enough to keep me busy and plus all of you uh, your warm wishes uh, telling me to get well instant messages uh, emails phone calls text messages I appreciate each and every one of you so um, yeah guys I'm doing fine um, and I appreciate each and every one of you so uh, I will be posting content just continue to stay tuned um, I may try to stream from my iPhone I've never really done that before so it's going to be interesting but I'll figure something out. 
And I just want to quickly thank these elite channel supporters. And if you haven't become a channel member, please check out the awesome perks and join today. With that, I'm the Stacking Stormtrooper. Check out these videos. Until next time, long live the Empire.